was only one mathematical yeah. equation that I needed to have, yeah. which just is to know, <laughs> which was to know that you are okay. okay You're feeling good, okay. you got a good pulse. Sure you would, yeah. Sushi Pramel, Max Soul, what's up, man? Yeah, hi, Greg. Hey, I, I want to say thank you. It, uh, you took me up on a flight. You're welcome. Yeah, my pleasure. And, and you handled it very well, Whew. I must say. <laughs> Good thing we're not getting that lie detector out, because that's the only lie you'll ever tell. <laughs> you know, it's uh, the things we won't do for coffee with Craig. You and I met probably about a, about a year ago. Uh, yeah. Just kind of through social media, you were connecting with people who were in the moving and storage industry. Yeah. Uh, then you kind of saw me uh, segue into uh, the real estate industry right. as a realtor. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, I always ask you, you know, what's, our, what's, your, what's your best plan of approach or attack at, at networking in general for Max Sold? Right, and, and I wouldn't call it networking for Max Sold. Like, I would just call it networking because I just enjoy yeah. meeting others who are passionate about what they do. Tell me a little bit about Max Sold and, and what you do and, and where the value proposition for clients utilizing your service. Yeah, so Max Sold is where um, eBay meets Craigslist. Our team goes to photograph, catalog, measure and describe everything from the fine art to the china but also to the garden tools. So everything goes in just two weeks and we do it all for you. Can you tell me a little bit about the geography of yeah. Max Sold? Oh yeah, no, well, uh, to keep it short we are in 30 metros. In, in North America, and it includes yeah. um, it, the New England, New York Tri-State, uh, all the way down to Atlanta, Florida, uh, across the coast to Texas, Colorado, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, yeah. and, 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 and lots of areas of Canada as well. So we're talking about the onboarding uh, process of contractors and employees and people that work in, in your organization. Right. And uh, one of the things yeah. that, that really came clear is, like you pick your friends, right. um, you know, it's the same way, but even maybe sometimes a little more picky on, on the business end of things. All right. uh, can you tell me a little bit more about your onboarding process? Uh, how you? Oh yeah, so, uh, so all, our, all our employees go through a screening process, like an online screening process. Yeah. So they, uh, they apply for a job, they get, they, they get a bunch of questions from the screening, yeah. and uh, we deliberately make it a little hard, you know, so that we know that they really want the job. Um, and, uh, and that way they learn about our process as well. They learn about what it is Maxor does, you know, what, um, you know, what it is that they will be doing, you know, and not just throwing their hat in the ring. And, and what percentage of the pie? I would say like, you know, only a couple of percent actually make it through. And for anybody who, who comes up short right. and they call and say, listen, I, I really I want to be involved in this organization. I'm passionate yeah. about, you know, antiquities. I'm passionate right. about, uh, uh, you know, having a career in, in this part of the industry, right. as you said. And I, and I love yeah. that example of, you know, Craigslist meets uh, eBay, eBay yeah. comes together yeah. and here's our system. Here's our pipeline. Here's how we do. You know, they, you know, when you go to a website, uh, maxsold.com, yeah. M-A-X-S-O-L-E.com, and you can check out all our auctions, yep. um, and you can go for jobs if there's jobs, or, or go to uh, the yeah. sell page, yep. you know, if, if there's a household yeah. for things to sell. And, um, and, and like you, Craig, um, you know, I'm going to ask you about differentiation and how you do it. Please. Um, but with us, you know, we differentiate and, uh, you know, we create a differentiation in the space where we are able to serve a client where everybody else says no. You know, all the state, local estate sale companies, you know, they want $10,000 worth of stuff or less or more. Yeah. You know, when you call them up, uh, they say, do you have any sterling? Do you have any antiques and art in China? Yeah. But we say, how do we solve your problem? Yeah. And how can we do it quickly, efficiently, you know, reliably? Yeah. And uh, so that's our differentiation. And, and yeah. how do you differentiate? Uh, right? There's a lot of great agents out there. Yeah. And uh, I, I think two things is, is there's this curve like with every industry, especially with agents, is agents are being pumped right. uh, this all this social media. And, and I talk to a lot of my fellow agents and I say, be social on social media. Right. Don't get caught in the trap. Because yeah. a trap, you know, and Brian Buffini, uh, one of the, uh, a mentor that I listen to online, yeah. he, he said a trap is, is basically is defined as an entry with no exit. Right. And so social media can become that. And yeah. it's how to utilize LinkedIn, how to right. utilize Instagram. How do you, you know, utilize Facebook? Right. How do you share content from your business page to your personal? Right. Um, you know, how do you engage yeah. and keep 
you know, in that positive line. And so I think right. it's understanding social media, but it's also being aware of sites like Zillow and Truly and Realtor.com, which they sell on emotion, and emotion is what people buy on first. Yeah. And Zillow and Truly and Realtor.com have been able to present real estate in such, a, 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 it, they romanticize it. Right. And so when people go, that's they get excited and their emotions fill in, yeah. and then the money somehow becomes irrelevant, uh, is becomes relevant, not right. irrelevant. Right. And, and how do you qualify a client when they come to you and say, I'm, I'm yeah. going to sell? Well, it's sort of kind of how this part of the idea came from uh, one of the other guys that I work with, Adam DeYoung of DeYoung Media, and he said, yeah. Coffee Talk with Craig. Right. And I said, Coffee Talk with Craig O, right? <laughs> Just keep it fun. <laughs> and what we said is it's the same in the onboarding process is let's not make it complicated, let's not make it uncomfortable, let's sit down for coffee and see if this relationship can happen. Right. And can I meet your expectations? And I think in that onboarding process, and that's at the beginning what we talked about right. with your employees, and that's why I brought yeah. That up is it's the same thing with clients because they have an expectation and you have to make sure that their their expectation hasn't been um, uh, puffed out right and that you're gonna yeah. no matter how great you do you're gonna disappoint them right and so yes. that's yes. what I love about the coffee talk yes. yeah yeah <laughs> and um, and and once they um, sign on as a client um, and you've onboarded them like how do you keep them um, you know engaged what I do is I, I have a, my own database, right. and so weekly I touch base with them, okay. whether it's by an email, a quick text. Yeah. Some clients I feel like need that more verbal contact, so I'm going to pick up the phone. Uh -huh. Or if they're close enough, I'm going to stop by in person and just pop in and say hi, and check okay. in on them. Or right. you know, uh, if we've been out during the weekend, I'll send them a little inspiration card and just say, right. you know, I'm glad that we went out, and yeah. you know, you know, your your house is on the horizon. Something to make them feel good because that process is stressful. It is emotional. Right. What's the tip to a buyer that's coming to Max sold on to get the best deal? What, what should they yeah. be aware of? Give them a little inside tip. Yeah, so it's really um, you know like subscribing to our e-newsletter mm. so that they can uh, they can look for the special thing that they have you know they've been looking for for a while. You know they can browse through our auctions. Yeah. So you know just staying on top of um, you know what's available for yep. sale. Um, and also um, um, making sure they know about you know the maximum bid feature, yep. so they can put a maximum bid that they want to buy this item at, so that um, so that you know it, it, they they can uh, so they're not having to go in and, and check in every every day. And, and I right? think it goes to the same thing in, in how it correlates to yeah. to being a realtor and how it correlates exactly. to, to Max Sold is the ability to balance. It doesn't right. it, a deal doesn't have to come together and be contentious. It has to feel right for everyone involved. Absolutely, yes. And that's how you become good at what you do and I think that for me is when I'm talking to other agents and there's right. a deal or an offer. Right. It's 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 being kind in your delivery. It's yeah. making sure that everybody most cards are on the table. There's right. a few cards that you want to play. So there's somebody who's going to bid on something and they watch and they go, okay, here's my max because I might try to turn around and sell it privately right. or I'm going to refurbish a great item. Yeah. I saw some antique cars being there's, sold on your yeah, site. There's a lot of repurposing that's going on. Yeah. You know, lots, lots of uh, reinventing. Competition only makes us better. Right. And so I said, you know, who's your, who's your greatest competitor? And your, your reply back on that when we were sitting down having lunch a little while ago is, yeah. my biggest competitor are the, are the mom and pops, are the local people that are embedded into the community. Right, yes. And then you, you responded back and said, well, what's yours? And I said, great agents make me better. Right. And there's a lot of great agents. There's yeah. a lot of agents. There's a yeah. sea of agents. You know, yeah, and, and for us too, the, 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 you know, the, the, it's, it's the relationships that they've been able to build over decades sometimes yeah. that, um, you know, that, that the, you know, and, and, and now a lot of them are, are partnering up with us. Yeah. You know, they, they don't see the world as a fixed pie. Yeah. And they say, hey, you know, the both of us can, can, can you know, partner up and we can maybe use your platform to, yeah. to clear out, maybe not for everyone, but yeah. a subset of our clients. So we have been able to make, um, you know, some great partnerships in, in yeah. down Manhattan. You know, and, uh, and and you know, and, and now in New Jersey, but with yeah. people coming it, on board, and that ultimately comes to the thing of leverage. People yes. realize at a certain point that it has to be done. I, I think, from you know, from the standpoint of you know competition, you have right. to be able to separate yourself. But there's times where competition actually can team up and work together in tandem right. to ultimately deliver the client what they need. You know, you talked about how your prior career. Um, you are able to leverage that. So I work with a lot of the apartment communities and senior communities. Right. And I worked with them for over 14 years. And I have a lot of just really great relationships with a lot of the management and staff. Yeah. And 
you know, I, I kept consistent on that. And yeah. why leave behind a sphere of influence? So we took the moving portion of my business and I made it management. And the reason I made it management was to help people in the transition process and to right. say, by the way, yeah. I am a realtor. Right. When the time comes and you have questions concerning the market, right. let me be your first call. Right. And then you just keep in touch. Yeah, and so keep in touch, that's important, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, it, and it's mind. top of mind, yeah. Toma. Top of mind awareness through others. And, and people don't use it enough. Yeah. And organize your phone and right. your contacts in the way that makes sense. But yeah. every day, get into these little habits. And so another little habit or a little tidbit is, yeah. reach out to three of your past clients right. every, day. every day. Just to say hi or thank you. And you do that every day? I do yeah. it every day. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and mostly through the instant messaging on right. Facebook. Yeah. Um, you know, I would like to get through that more in the text or even just a, a simple phone call, just leaving right. them a genuine message. Thanks awesome, a lot, man. my friend. Thank you. Yeah.